There are two brands in the watch world, almost guaranteed to appreciate in value once you buy them. One is Rolex, and the other? It's Zelos. So why is the brand not for me? Firstly, thanks to all of those who have subscribed so far, and if you're new here, welcome and I do hope you enjoy. These are just my opinions, and you know what people say about opinions. They're like YouTube watch channels. Everybody's got one. Now right off the bat, Zelos make fantastic watches. There's no doubt about that. They have a loyal following and their customer service is excellent, with owner El Shantang often taking personal responsibility for ensuring customers have any issues resolved quickly. I have personal experience of this. After El Shan got in touch directly, after I uploaded a video of a broken bezel on my titanium 42mm frosted swordfish onto a Facebook group, he simply replaced the watch and paid for shipping for my broken model and covered the shipping of the replacement. That is incredible service and frankly it should be commended. Likewise, their designs are uniquely their own and really do set them apart, making them a favourite of the online watch community. So this is my second Zelos. Full disclosure, I sold this after a few days with it and I'll tell you why. Firstly. As people really want to ask that government aid about sleeping with secretary for shagging, what's so good about it? Well, the finishing is excellent. Honestly, the only way the brushing could be nicer is if Snow White corralled some animals into helping them with it. The angular case shape is complemented by the dynamic shimmer and shine of the bracelet as the articulating links reflect light from every conceivable corner. The clasp has seemingly infinite micro-adjustment holes, and even the former health secretary himself would be spoiled for choice. So the watch will work comfortably on your wrist, whatever the size. Plus the security latch has excellent tolerances, and I suspect it might be sourced from the same place as strap code sourced theirs, such as the similarity in finishing and the tactile feel. The dial here is well balanced, with a date window at 6 o'clock helping the symmetry, which I do wish more brands would do. The simple Zelos logo at 12 means there's no clutter, with just the model name and the 200 meter water resistance specification above the date window. Two lines of text, nice and succinct, something I can only aspire to be. This one is the 40 millimeter swordfish in stainless steel with a fully loomed dial. This white frosted colorway would always be my preference because Zelos just absolutely mark Rothko these watches with Super Luminova. Just take a look at this. This loom is insane. I don't know what's more alarming, how bright this thing is, or how fascinated I still am by things that glow in the dark despite having recently turned 30. Naturally, power in the watch is the, drum roll please, yeah, NH35. I'd argue that they could put a high beat movement like the Miyota 9000 series in here, but the retail price of $349 is very competitive for the level of finishing and the original design you get with a Zelos. However, you might have to pay a bit more than that because these things are just on limited runs and they do go on eBay pretty quickly. Now I think paying any more than retail on these is, well, not worth it. My issue with this particular swordfish is the proportions because mine felt a little top heavy. The bracelet looks so good as it glistens and reflects light, but the head of the watch is pretty big and hefty in comparison, thanks maybe to how thin the bracelet links are and the tapering. What's more, and I had this issue with my previous swordfish, but just attributed it to the titanium materials. This bezel action is just <sighs> horrible. That's subjective, I hear you say, and you're right, but this is almost crunchy, like bunches of autumn leaves being trampled underfoot, but not in a sanitised Pinterest night's drawing in good way, it's not crisp or even, and this could just be my specific watch, but that would also mean me conceding that I've now had two watches with QC issues, which I just don't think is the case. It does align, 
it does click, but it just doesn't feel very good. Maybe that's just how they are. I'd be happy to be wrong, but I won't be buying another Zelos for now, and nor would I pay over retail for one. If your experience differs from mine, please let me know in the comments because I really am hoping that I'm the exception rather than the rule. Thanks for making it to the end of my little rant, and please do like, subscribe, and click the bell icon if you want to be notified every time I upload. See you next time.